The complex movie rights behind Namor are honestly something that we've heard about for the better part of the last 20 years that have never been fully explained. Obviously, the character finally showed up in live action in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, but we know that that's due to a deal between Universal, Fox, Disney, and whoever else was in charge of those rights or still holds on to some elements. And there's been rumors of a standalone Namor project, but now we sort of um get those dreams crushed, let's just put it that way, because of news we learned in regards to Wakanda Forever. So this comes at us from Marvel Studios producer Nate Moore, who recently spoke with The Rap specifically about Namor. And he stated that yes, Namor can return in the MCU, but it cannot be in a standalone film. And he says that this is one of those legal loopholes where he was allowed to be the villain in Black Panther 2, but there was restrictions in regards to how they could advertise the character, in regards to posters, in regards to how they could use him in marketing like commercials and trailers, and that this all stems back to those contractual rights. So multiple things prevented them from using Namor the way they wanted to initially, and also having to push him as sort of a new big deal in the MCU that could be somebody that spawns a franchise. Now again, it's still very possible that we could get a Namor standalone film, but that would have to be in partnership with Universal, sort of like The Incredible Hulk. And that was a whole mess to get off the ground and even integrated into the MCU. And, uh, you know, the history there has been covered extensively and we still don't even know the whole picture. But what we're hearing now is that right now, as it stands, when this interview happened, they're kind of uh, backed up against a wall. And Namor will show up in the MCU again. But again, his usage has to be in a specific way and it has to be pitched a specific way, and he cannot be used in a way that would contradict something that, if for some reason Universal wanted to suddenly make a Namor film, is going to kind of go up against what they're doing. So this kind of all stems to how they reinvented the character to fit the MCU, which again comes from a place of, is it legal? Could they not use the proper Atlantis? because of Universal or whoever might hold that aspect of the character's rights. So again, it all still seems to be very muddled in contracts that were worked out in the late to mid 